uh, for symbolism and to give you sort of a breakdown of what I want you to do in regards to symbolism, um, we have this assignment for you. So um, I went ahead and modeled this assignment for you. Um, so today we're going to talk about the symbolism of the color gold. Okay, so gold is the color of wealth and success. Gold is commonly associated with prestige, influence, and prosperity. Here we have Scrooge and his, his money pit. Um, gold is also used to symbolize being the top of something. If you win a gold medal, then you've come in first. Um, if you receive a gold star in like kindergarten, then you know that you've done a great job because gold often symbolizes being the best. So here is a, um, a quote from the beginning of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, I'm going to read it to you. It says, then wear the gold hat if that will move her. If you can bounce high, bounce for her too. Till she cried, lover, gold hatted, high bouncing lover, I must have you. So what do we think that gold hatted might mean here if we know that what gold means? All right. So gold hatted here most likely means wealthy. So the author of this quote is saying, so be rich. Be rich and high-spirited with the bouncings and be high-spirited and be wealthy. Pretend to be wealthy if that's what you have to do um, to get the girl that you want and she'll be with you. So some of the more negative connotations to the color of gold. Um, if you think of gold in terms of wealth and you think of um, so like arrogance, cocky, um, flashy, um, egotistic, you think of people who are full of themselves, you associate it with wealth. So you a negative connotation to wealth would be someone who's very pretentious or full of themselves or who looks down on other people. Um, so some so it can be both. It can be positive and it can be negative. So characters, some characters who I associate with the color gold, um, Scrooge McDuck, obviously, him and his money pit. Um, I also think of Richie Rich, which is like an old er movie uh, about a kid who obviously has a lot of money and he has like a really fancy house. I don't know. I watched it when I was a child. Um, <laughs> it really stuck with me. Um, King Midas, who we're going to talk about. And then I also think of pirates when I think of the color gold. So... The myth of King Midas, if you don't know, um, he is a character in Greek and Roman mythology. Um, King Midas received one wish from the gods, I think for doing a, doing them a favor or something, and they're like, oh, okay, you can have one wish. So he chose to have everything that he touched turn to gold. Um, but in his, and at first it worked really well. Um, he became really wealthy. Um, everything that he touched turned to gold. Um, so he had everything that his want that he wanted his greed was satisfied but then it kind of turned on him so eventually he realized that if everything that he touched turned to gold he could not touch the people that he loved um he could not eat food um eventually i think that he did have it removed before he starved to death but it was sort of a lesson in gold and everything they touch being associated with gold and the search for it and the greed associated with it. Next, we have pirates. So just think about like the one thing that you associate with pirates and automatically you're going to think treasure. They're looking for treasure. They're looking for gold. And some positive things about this is the search for adventure. Um, you think about being a pirate, you think it's very carefree. Um, they're all little mischievous. Um, so you have some positive connotations, but then the negative connotations for this, this gold fever, the search for gold, um, is definitely that you hear that pirates are greedy, that they're lawless, you know, there'll be a mutiny on board and they'll, they'll overthrow one of their own. Um, if you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, you definitely see that they have a little touch of lawlessness about them because um, they sort of live outside of the the realm of acceptableness that um, a lot of these stories take place in. So often, often what is the ultimate goal for the good guys in any movie? The goal or the reward? And that's right, goods or riches, a.k.a. gold. Um, like at the end of the movie, the Goonies, 
So they were looking for this treasure to help save their hometown. And eventually they find it. Um, so the Goonies, they found the treasure and they saved their town. So some literary and societal references um, about gold can also be found in the Bible. Um, so they say that heaven is paved, uh, paved with gold. Now you can take that literally or you can use it symbolically um, because the symbolic nature of gold means like beautiful, like they're using gold, this substance that people very highly value. Um, and they're saying that if you say that, then it can be portrayed as being like the most beautiful, most beautiful thing that you've ever seen. So it can also symbolize that because gold is the top and that is it um, now what I would like you for you to do is to go to canvas and look for your assignment and you will each have a symbol and instructions will be there